What's going on RC Addicts? Today we're going to look at the Huina Cabulite K3362. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but here it is. So today we're going to go through all these functions. Alright, as you can see here in front of me, you get the Flysky ST8, which is a fantastic radio. Uh, let's go ahead and power it on. So it's going to tell you it wants all the switches in the high position or the up position. Uh, pretty basic, all around, all around fantastic radio. You have some uh, other buttons back here. On this truck, it doesn't do anything. These buttons don't do anything. Um, let's see. Yeah, four double A's. So fantastic little radio. Um, so. Let's move on to the truck. All right, so with every uh, RC vehicle you have, you should already know, power the transmitter on first. Next, we're gonna put the battery in here, and if you notice, there is a lever right here. This is, keep in mind, this is all metal. Uh, the body is plastic, which that's fine, but everything else is metal. So we're gonna take this tab right here and push it like that and pull the cab back. Now that's as far as the cab will go, um, and that's completely understandable because you have so many electronics in here. Uh, your sound module is up in here. You got two ESCs, one for the truck, uh, one for the pump in here for the hydraulic actuator. Um, but let's go ahead and hook up a battery to it. It's a little cramped in here. so. Bear with me. So you remember it wanted all the switches in the high position. Uh, so when you go in the high position, obviously it's the horn. That happens every time you plug it in. I don't mind it. Sometimes it might get annoying, but what can you say? I'm sure you can change it. I haven't dealt with it. Um, but yeah, so first of all, you got your diff lock, second, uh, two speed transmission, sound. I haven't figured out what this is yet. This is your horn, your horn, obviously, and pull back to start. You'll hear it in a second. This is your light control, uh, your drive mode is right here, and your steering and your hydraulic actuator pump is right here. Uh, so let's go through these functions. All right, so obviously I shouldn't have to go through these two. These are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, lockers and two-speed transmission. Uh, so here's your sound. Uh, let's go about halfway. So right now this switch right here is in the middle position. Um, like earlier, up is the horn. Let's go down. And then... And then back to the middle position uh, and I've noticed this if you go to shut the truck off and you go to crank it for a certain amount of time it's just gonna stall out now that's cool so let's go ahead and start it up. I'm gonna hit the horn all right, so now let's move on to the next function. I'm gonna turn this volume down. All right, so let me move the truck around so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see you have, obviously, lights here. This is how you control the functions of these lights. So like I said, this switch right here is for the light function. Pull it down, hold it, and you get all your flashers. So obviously you have flashers back here, two on each side. And then we're gonna pull that back up. Stops the flashers. All right, pull down, pull up. So you have a few lights right here. All right. So you get these little side indicators and these indicators up here on the cab. We're gonna do it again. And you get your low beams. And then you get all your lights. And with all these functions, you can hold down 
that right there and still get your hazards no matter which setting you're in so let's go ahead and turn those hazards off and then we'll turn the lights off all right let's move on to the next function All right, so let's teach you how to drive this thing because it threw me for a learning curve like crazy. All right, so let's see. I want you to hear it just a little bit. All right, so right now you're in neutral. This is basically your gear shifter. All right, so you're, gonna, you're wanting to go forward. That is putting it into gear. Slowly speed up. All right, and then to put it in reverse, and you can hear the backup alarm. All right, so I'm in reverse, slowly. All right, so that's reverse. And you obviously you have backup lights right here too. I don't know if you can see those. Sorry for my small workspace. <clears throat> All right, so let's go back to neutral. All right, neutral. Let's go ahead and turn that down. All right, so the next function is this right here. So obviously you're steering, and of course your blinkers come on, front and rear. And then this is your hydraulic dump bed. All right, pretty simple enough. Uh, you wanna pull up on it? Or, my bad, pull down on the joystick to pick the dump bed up, and then vice versa. Uh, what I've learned is you don't want to, when you're coming up or down with the bed, don't hold the joystick for any longer than it needs to because that hydraulic actuator is fully extended. Uh, just wear and tear, you don't want to add more wear and tear to it. Uh, so, yep. That's basically it. Uh, you can figure out the Flysky ST8 for yourself. It's pretty basic, uh, but it provides you with everything you need for this truck. Uh, so let's go ahead and shut this off. You can hear the truck turn off. Very cool. All right, so let's go over what the truck has. Uh, you have these awesome, uh, very firm tires, uh, off-road type tires very good very good uh, this is your spare lock electronics box there's nothing in there you can put whatever you want to in there uh, some some faux air tanks for your air brakes uh, these are rubber chalks that can actually be used uh, pretty cool just put them behind your tires and you know can't go anywhere so let's go ahead and put those back. All right, let's move on to something else. Of course, like I said, everything is metal. Very well built and thought out uh, design on this dump truck. Uh, very good looking actuator, very big actuator. Uh, here's your pump for your hydraulic actuator. Uh, also, you can see under here, let's see, this right here is your locking mechanism for the uh, tailgate on the dump bed. So you'll see right now it's, it's loose. I'm going to bring the bed down and it's locked. So that lock in there locks the tailgate which is really smart so let's see i'll bring it around and you can see it lets go so your lock is right here there's two locks that lock it in So I'll let you see on the inside right there. 
Also, let's turn this truck around and I'll let you see the other side of it. All right, so here's the other side of the truck. Uh, here's your hydraulic tank, and you get you get the hydraulic fluid in the uh, box itself when it comes in the mail. Um, so you don't need any hydraulic oil that comes with it. Fill it all the way up, all the way up to about right in there. Uh, some more faux tanks in here. Here's your hydraulic lines. Uh, Let's see if I can pick it up. Let's go ahead and put this bed down. All right, it is really heavy. Put it on the side for a second. So as you can see, you have everything under here. Here's your cable lockers. Uh, here's your gearbox or your uh, transfer case. There's your gearbox up in there. Uh, leaf springs uh, one thing about the leaf springs is uh, you have one leaf spring on each side uh, the rest of them are just fake uh, they don't really serve too much purpose I might change that later on when the truck is upright there's a uh, no suspension uh, but I mean there is a substantial amount of suspension articulation which is uh, really good so yeah, that's uh, just about it. Uh, I'll let you see under here some more. Go ahead and take this battery out. I'm not gonna run it anymore today. And of course your transmitter's talking to you. So I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, like I said, you can't see much in here. Uh, it's really cram packed, but like I said, you got a lot of stuff going on up in there. Um, so just latch that back down and you can see you have a pretty decent uh interior in there uh there are different interiors uh out there and i will post in the description for that other interior that i will be getting uh it comes with a full floor this does not have a full interior um let's see you can also also with this truck you get other things all right, so another thing that I really like about this RTR uh, truck from Toucan Hobbies or Huina, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, is you get uh, two sets of nut drivers. Because as you can tell, these are actually uh, nuts. These aren't uh, M3 type Allen head screws. And then you get a full aluminum uh, toolkit right here, which is really nice. Uh, here's your instruction manual for the ST8. Here are some, uh, there's actually two sets of headlight guards. Uh, I guess if you break one, you have a spare, which is really nice thought out. Uh, just like with any Euro type dump truck, you have mirrors everywhere. Here's uh, two other mirrors. Here is a Mercedes emblem if you want to get rid of the Cabo light emblem. Uh, I was supposed to do that uh, about a few weeks ago. I just haven't got across to it yet, but this will be going on. And then a set of horns to go up here. Uh, and of course, there's some extra horns and just a T-type wrench. And that's about it. Uh, if you want to know where to get one of these trucks, I will put it into the description uh, I purchased this truck through Zhirho. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. Or you can go through uh, Oliver Land. Oliver Land, fantastic person. Um, so, yeah, I think this is going to conclude the video. And y'all have a great day and get out there and do some RC trailing. See y'all later.